Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ben Clark and I'm a quadriplegic personal trainer. Before we get started on today's workout, be sure that you have seeked medical advice from a medical professional before undertaking anything you do in this video. Also, make sure that you stay within your limits and to keep hydrated throughout the whole thing. Without further ado, I think it's time that we start today's workout. Okay, in today's workout, we are gonna be doing a resistance band chest workout. Now to do this, you will need a resistance band. Any type is fine, but I recommend, if you haven't got one already, you wanna get one, one just like this. We've got two different resistances. I'll put a link up here somewhere so you guys can check out where to buy these if you are interested in getting one yourself. This is just the one I prefer and I've used for a long time and it's pretty good standard. Before doing this, make sure that the equipment, if you've had it for a while, especially is in good working order, we don't want to cause any damages to ourselves. Also, we'll be tying our resistance bands to something. I've got it attached to the leg of a really heavy desk. Make sure that's not going to fall over or it's going to break as well. So just a couple of safety things there before we get started. So before we move on to the resistance band stuff, we're going to do a warm up to get started. So make sure you've got plenty of space around you that you're not going to be hitting anything or anyone. Hang on, so you can just give yourself a little check just to make sure you've got enough space. And then we're going to start with some mobility stretches, dynamic stretches, depending on what you call them. Um, and it's just going to start with going up one arm, round in a circle, just like so. So we're going to do about 10 forwards, just like this. And then we're going to change direction and go 10 backwards. If you can't get your hand all the way up over the head, that's fine. Just do as much as you can. In fact, just this. That's fine. Just do as much as you can. Don't worry about full range of motion, a good range of motion. Okay, let's change. So now I'm going to see how long forwards, just so. Excellent stuff. Well, welcome back. To another video anyway guys um, i'm glad to have you here again and to uh, guide you through this as i said it's a resistance band chest workout so if we're working on our chest and this could be fantastic for our ability to push our wheelchairs better the chest the front down to and the triceps it could be used in conjunction those upper two muscles let's go ahead and touch them to the shoulder if you can't get all the way over just go to here if you can't get here, just doing your arms, just like so. But try and get over as well as you can. So yeah, these other muscle groups are the front deltoid and the tricep. Also, will get used today in conjunction with the chest, but it's mainly chest, and it's going to help you have a stronger push, more efficient push, a more endurance push. So more efficient means that our shoulders are less taxed, which means we actually get um keep maintaining our shoulder health for longer bigger and stronger definitely helps in this sense okay let's do station back of our shoulders just like so and don't worry about big reservation just sort of circles here let's change direction excellent Gonna take both arms to the side. If you struggle with this with balance, just feel free to do one arm at a time. And then just change, maybe do three on one side, three on the other, and then keep repeating that. If you can, you can do both. And you're gonna take one arm here, go up. Just like so. Yeah, nice to have you all back and ready to do a, another session. I hope you've been enjoying them so far, both mine and the else's that have been on here on Willpower. It's fun to be able to show you what I do. Um, and as always, if you guys want to see more of what I do, head to Adapt to Perform. That's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere else like that. On YouTube, I've got over 300 videos that you can check out. Um, so yeah, pretty sure to do that. So it's uh, there's a, there's a sign there. Adapted before. Okay, so the first one we've got here, we've got the lighter resistance bands. So if you've got multiple resistance bands, grab a lighter one to start with, 
and this will be using the first exercise. Again, the link to this is, I'll pop up again so you guys can see it. Um, if you want to get the specific ones, I thought I've got a couple of different resistances. I've got this orange one, I've got red one, and I've got the green one over there somewhere. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into the first exercise. And this is um, the chest flies. You might see people in the gym, maybe on a cave machine, sort of pulling it towards each other. We're going to do that with a single arm with the resistance band. So you want to sit perpendicular to it. Simple, three sets of ten. No need to complicate it any further than that. So we're going to have an arm up, parallel to the floor, bring it across our body, just like so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to change sides. Changing sides is a little bit difficult. Feel free to do three sets on one side and then three sets on the other side, and then, you yeah, know, especially if you find it a little bit difficult to uh, do that. All right. Two, go on this side, off we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good stuff. So as we're putting it across our body here, we want to go past the halfway line. So we want to go to about here. So that's about how far I'm going to go, okay? So don't just stop. The halfway, go as far across as you can. It means you get full contraction on the chest. It's being worked out properly. Okay, let's go another one again. Here we go. So we'll say these bands have latex in. So if you do have a latex allergy, um, I've been trying to find some latex free bands. I've been recommended some. I just can't find. They're not available at the moment due to lockdown. But as soon as they do become available, they'll be on that website I've listed. Ten good stuff. And then the other thing is that um yeah, I'd love to have you come in and check out what I do on my YouTube channel as well. Um, so got a YouTube channel all dedicated towards Will check in and say, this is what you like, come check out other stuff. And check out the other videos I've done with Willpower and the other guys' ones that have done it as well. It's all pretty good stuff. Ready, off we go on this side. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Changing back to the other side again. We've got one more on each arm. Um, so this one is focused on just our chest. So you want to get full contraction here, which means that we're getting a good chest work. If we go again. And it's fine that we're just going straight into the next set because what's happening is that this one is ex this chest is exercising and this one is resting. So while one is exercising, the other one's resting, which means we don't need rest in between. We're just getting that little bit between going between the two. Ten. However, if you're doing three sets on one arm, I recommend having one minute's rest in between. If you can do three sets ten with no rest, then the resistance is probably too light. You either want to get a heavy resistance band or get further away from it. So that's how you can adjust it to your level. Again. Also, if you are having difficulties, you know I'm I'm a quad, but I can just about grab this band right. And there's a few others that I teach that can do it. But if you can't, you can always use um, a tip hands. The D rings with a carabiner, you can help flip it up there. You know what I mean? 10, good stuff. That's the first exercise done. Let's get a little drink first before we move on to the second one. Okay, good work, everybody, so far. So, we're going to grab, I'm going to grab this other resistance band. If you've only got one, detach the one that you've got. So, I'll give you a second. While you're doing it, and you can uh, watch the demonstration. So the next one is a chest press. Now, if you don't have a resistance band like this, you can keep it tied up and do it single arm, but or you can have it round here and just hold it 
where it's right. Because it might be too long if you've got the one with the knuckle symbols. So if you're doing this, and you, so we're doing this exercise like this. If it's not doing anything, you might want to grab further down the band, okay? So like you grab it like this, rather than another way out. But for this, for me, for this type of band, and my arm length, this seems to be right there. That's the, the way we adjust it. So simple thing, having it behind our back, just like so. Try and have it fairly far down your back as well, because we don't want it slipping up and coming onto our neck. Keep it down here. Let's just turn back around again. And we're just simply pressing out forwards. And what this is doing is simulating a press up. So it's a similar movement, except we, instead of working against gravity, we're working against the resistance of the band. And we're just going to push forwards just like so, like that, for well, three sets of 10, for about a minute's rest in between each one. So you ready? Off we go. Keep those elbows in the right, so don't flare them wide, keep them in the way. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Just gonna rest off there for a bit. So yeah, getting up, getting in a press up position is really difficult, especially if you've got no core or your legs that aren't working or various different reasons. It's really difficult getting a press up position. So this is a fantastic way to simulate a press up without having to get there. Plus, if you are in a wheelchair and you can get down the floor to do a press up, a bit of a faff. This is a lot easier way to do it. And this is why I love the resistance band. It allows you to do things that wouldn't normally be possible, um, necessarily. Okay. I think that's about a minute roughly. Okay, so let's go into the second set, like so. Also here, we are using triceps to build on the tricep extension as well as the chest press. So we're getting two functioning. Ready, off we go. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work. To think about here is when we push the down, it's not too different from pushing our wheelchair. So it's a very functional movement. That this is the press we're doing here. This is the press we do with our wheelchair. Not, you know, it's just a slightly different plane here. But yeah, it actually helps us build up that strength. So maybe when you get to a hill, or if you're pushing for a long time, or even say you're on holiday, and you're walking with friends, with family or whatever, and you're not getting as tired, which means you can enjoy yourself a little bit more, um, which is always a good thing because not everything has to be a workout. <laughs> Sometimes we want to enjoy ourselves too. The harder we work in the gym, the easier that stuff will be. And it means that we're enjoying ourselves a little bit more. Okay, let's get back behind us again. Let's go again for our set number three. Off we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you're doing this, it is a little bit easy or a little bit hard, really easy way to adjust it is, as like I said in the beginning, is to move up and down the band. So if it's too easy, you could do it like here. If you've got a band like mine, you could even sort of wrap your hand around like that. And then that's made the band a bit shorter. You could do it on both sides even. You could do it a couple of times and make it harder. So now if I did it that one, that's a lot harder. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go for one more set. Because I feel like it. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes that's good things to do. You just feel, feel the set. Do you think three is enough? Feel free to stop here and have a little bit extra rest. But we're going to go again now. I'm going to make it a little bit tighter. So I've got one loop here and the other one the regular. Ready? Off we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now, say you have got a really long band. One thing you can do is attach it to like a railing or a grab handle to have it behind you, and then pop yourself against that grab rail or handle, and then do it from there. Just be careful you're not going to tip yourself backwards with that, because uh, we don't want you falling out your wheelchair. Okay, I'm going to grab another drink 
And then I'm going to go back to the other band that is attached to it. If there is any point that you need extra time, just pause the video and um, we'll go into it. Because I uh, understand for some of you, getting this on and off isn't as easy as just, or if you don't have it, it's one setup already. So next one we're going to do, we're going to face away slightly. So it's, it's behind us, the bang, but more like over our shoulder behind us rather than directly behind us, because we don't want it having it rubbing against our back. And for this, see, it's going to push up a little bit more. So instead of the forwards push here, we're going to push up. And the reason this is good for a couple of reasons. So if you're a sports person in a wheelchair, like you play wheelchair rugby, wheelchair basketball, tennis, there's, you know, this is a chest pass, or not a chest, like an overhead sort of chest pass kind of thing. Um, and it's also uh, like if you're going for a high ball in tennis, or you've got table tennis, even you're going high, it's a good thing to be able to use the muscles up here. It's something you don't often do in a wheelchair, so it's good to do that. If you're not, if you're not playing sports and that, it's also good for if you're putting stuff up on shelves. So you're using your weight to get up then. It means that you uh, be a little bit more independent, essentially. So let's get going on that. So we're going to do one. So the other thing as well, be sure you didn't get a tip backwards. So maybe just do a test one just to see it. Make sure you're not going to tip backwards, okay? Because again, I don't want you falling over. Two ways you can do that. You can have someone hold your wheelchair or you can slightly change the angle. There's lots of ways you can do it. Just have fair range. All right, ready to go. Okay, so three sets of 10, three, off we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. We're going to change arms, move around, slightly change the wheelchair angle. So, sorry, you can't see as much on this one. Ready, off we go, three sets of ten. All right, one set of ten now, we're going to keep switching between two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching sides again. Again, if there's any point that you it takes you longer, feel free to pause the video and continue afterwards. Ready, off we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. This side again. Ready. Off we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as always, if it's too easy. Move further away from your anchor point. If it's too hard, bring it closer, or use a lighter or heavier resistance band, regarding which one that needs to be heavier or lighter. Okay, let's go again. Off we go. Nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, uh, last one on this side. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you guys ever have any questions about what we're doing, any comments, any concerns, anything you want to ask me, you can either put them in the video, like in the description of the video down below, and I come back and look at them every so often, but a really good way to contact me is to go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash adapt to perform, spelled just like this, adapt to perform, um, and send me a message on there, and I see all of those, so um, and I get a notification on my phone. So if you have any questions about any of the workouts that we've done so far, including this one or any ones that we will be doing, feel free to send that to me, and um, yeah. I'll be happy to answer your questions.
Okay, so the last one we are going to be doing here is similar to the first one we did, but instead of coming from here to here, what we're going to do is attach the band a little bit lower to the ground. So I'm just going to move this down my table leg. If you if you can't attach it lower, just keep it where it is and then just it's still doable this exercise. But if you have it low, I mean it can come from low up to high, okay? So it's coming up across her body. I'll show you with the opposite arm here. So it's coming from the low, coming up and across. And what it's doing is working on the top part of her chest. So it's kind of dividing two parts, the top part and the bottom part, coming up and across. You can always feel it there, a bit between there, just below our clavicle or collarbone. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. So, are you ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Let's change sides. Go this side now. Ready, off we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get to the first side again. Keep switching again. Doing your own time. There's a video in between. Um, to just catch up. So you know what to do by this point. Don't feel like you have to go the same speed as me. That's absolutely fine. Ready, off we go again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Side. Ready, off we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we've got one more on each side to go. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're keeping up with it. Ready, up we go. Oh, a little bit of a spasm. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Changing sides. So once we finish this, what we're going to be doing is going into cool down, which is is important. I'll explain why while we're doing it. So yeah, be sure not to just stop and go into it. I'll explain why cool down is important. And show you the cool down as well. Eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Also, don't let this ping off. You just want to relax it off, just let's say. Yeah, so let's do the pull down. So we're just going to do some nice deep breaths in and some circles of our shoulders. Just like so, if you keep that going, I'm going to explain why it's important. So when we go into our exercise mode, basically what happens, we go into a fight or flight mode. And if we stay in that fight or flight mode, when we're not exercising, stuff like anxiety and like sort of increasing a little bit. So what we're going to do is do things going to come out of it and into relaxation mode. And what happens is our body can start to heal itself because we've, uh, We've exercised, which causes uh, micro tears in the muscles. Don't worry, it's not a bad thing. We want to be able to repair them as quickly as possible so that we can get back to working. And the quicker we get into our um, relaxation mode, the quicker our body can start utilizing the energy in our system to repair our body. So it's just something to be aware of. Let's take one arm over and go over to this side. And then this. So again, this kind of mobility, Stuff, not too much. The stretching, when I do stretching, I tend to dedicate a second to it. Warm up and pull down, I do mobility stuff. 
it's just uh, a little bit more, I can't say more than two, can I? It's a little bit better for um, when you're exercising to just be mobile. Okay, let's go. Rotate and then take. So what we're doing here is rotating our spine a little bit, opening up our chest a little bit and then the rear deltoids, making sure that we're nice and we're not going to get too tight in this area. Good, let's change arms. Good stuff. Okay, so I want to take this opportunity to thanks Willpower and Sport England for supporting these videos um, so that you guys can help get fit and healthy during lockdown, which is really important. But science comes to the end of it, at least we are, you know, we're sort of on the end of it, but that's for the regular people in our society. For us guys that are higher level of risk, I'm on that boundary between higher level. Obviously, we're staying in still, so uh, the videos will still keep coming. So you guys that can't get to the gym this time will still be able to get fit and healthy in your own home. If you want to know more about what I do, it's quite simple. You can head to Adapt to Perform. Best place to do it is YouTube. I produce loads of videos on there, fitness videos for wheelchair users, so go check that out. I'm a fully qualified personal trainer, so I should know what I'm about. <laughs> he said, let's, let's hope I do it okay. um, And then the next thing you can do is check out my Instagram. Uh, or my Facebook and on my other posts and slightly different content than I do on YouTube. So go check it out. But thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out the other ones in my series here on Willpower's YouTube channel. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as well. You know, they, uh, they're doing great stuff by supporting, uh, by allowing me to come here and show what I do to come to a bigger audience. So yeah, give them a like and a follow. And uh, thank you so much to everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm excited to do some more with you guys and uh, get to know you a little bit better. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.